cardiobites. What do we know about the treatment and management of transthyretin amyloidosis or ATTR? Patients with transthyretin amyloidosis or ATTR often present with cardiomyopathy, ATTR-CM, and or neuropathy, ATTR-PN. Once diagnosed, patients should undergo genetic sequencing of the TTR gene. If there's a pathogenic variant present, the patient has hereditary or variant ATTR. If there is no variant, wild type ATTR is present. Determining the subtype of ATTR will help guide treatment decisions. Management of patients with ATTR utilizes disease modifying therapies. The main two categories of disease modifying therapies for ATTR are transthyretin stabilizers and transthyretin silencers or knockdown agents. TTR stabilizers bind to the TTR tetramer to prevent misfolding and subsequent deposition of amyloid fibrils. Tefamidus is currently approved for the treatment of ATTRCM, and another therapy, acaraminus, is under review by the FDA. TTR silencers reduce hepatic synthesis for the TTR protein. The medications currently approved for hereditary ATTRPN by the FDA are patisiran, enotericin, retricerin, and eplontericin. In addition to disease-modifying therapies, comprehensive management of heart failure and arrhythmias are important for ATTRCM patient outcomes. Some considerations include aggressive diuretic management, when and what to consider for heart failure goal-directed medical therapy, rhythm versus rate control strategies for atrial arrhythmias, implantable pacemakers for chronotropic incompetence. In summary, several disease-modifying therapies have emerged for ATTR amyloidosis. A future presentation will discuss therapies and development. Aggressive heart failure and arrhythmia management are also important tenets of ATTRCM management. Thank you for tuning into this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. I'm Kevin Alexander, and I'm an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist from Stanford. Please complete the short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.